Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, today, what we're going to be doing is replacing the starter rope in this uh, Ryobi 2 cycle uh, leaf blower. So I have the piece right over here. Uh, is one of these notches on it is is broken, so we're going to replace it because when you pull it, it doesn't uh, go back in right. So it's not possible to start the the leaf blower. So what we're going to, how we're going to start this off is we're going to take off both sides of the housing because we have to get into uh, into here. So if you give me just a second, I'm going to take this off. And what you need to have is a Torx bit um, right over here. And there's six screws over here. So give me just a moment. All right. So I have that off. There's actually seven screws um, on here. One of mine is missing. I got this leaf blower from somebody else and the screw over here was missing. So I can get another screw for it, but I don't think it's you know super critical. All right, so once you have that off, the next thing that we need to do is take off the housing. And this little plastic piece is kind of difficult to get off. I've done it a few times now, but so once you get that off, then you kind of have to jimmy it off a little bit um, if you take this part off with uh, a flathead it's a little bit easier but you know I can get you can get off pretty easy no worries all right so this exposes the fan over here so we're gonna get back to that in just a second what we have to do is come back over to this side and we want to take off this little cover over here so we take that off And then we're going to take off uh, this housing over here, and it's one size down in torque bit. So if you give me a second, this one I think has one, two, three, four screws on it right here. So if you give me just a moment. All right, so I got those four screws off. So then we just take this off over here. You just want to organize your pieces so that you don't lose them and you know which order they go back in. All right, so now that we got that off, you can take off the... Uh, the spark plug boot right over here and then the next thing that we're going to want to do is take out the, the spark plug right here because um, what we're going to have to do is bind the cylinder because if you put your um, uh, your wrench on here to get this flywheel off it's just going to spin forever so if you give me just a second I will get my my uh, my wrench so I can get it off. All right, so I got my socket wrench. So it's a 19 millimeter on this one. So I just want to take that off. All right, so we got our spark plug right over here. So we'll put that down. 13 millimeter here. So like I was saying, if you put this on and you try to take off this nut, it's just going to spin forever. So what you have to do is in that um, spark plug hole from before, sorry, I just realized it's pretty dirty. Um, from the spark plug hole before, what you need to get is a cylinder binder. So, and I have another video on that, so I'll link to that. Um, but you just want to thread this through here. All right, so we got the cylinder binder in there. Then you come back over here. So then we just want to, there we go. Right, so once that's done, you can just spin this until it releases for you. So we got that. So we want to put these upside down in reverse order because um, we don't want to, we want to be able to put them back in the right way that we took them out. So we got this nut over here. All right. So what you want to do is you want this, these are torque bits down in here. There's four of them. So I unfortunately don't have a great torque wrench, but you can get like long thin ones and you want to stick it down in there and you just have to um, undo them. So if you give me a moment. All right, so I got those off. Make sure you take this guy off as well right there. Uh, the other thing that we need to do is take off the, 
the throttle control right here. So this one is a little bit tricky, so you got to get it out of that hole right there. There's also a little um, screw up here. So this comes out of this hole right here. And if you need to, there is a screw in here that you can take out if you need a little bit more room in the cable to to get that governor's spring out. So once that's out over there, then because we've taken out those screws, we can take off the housing right here. All right, so we can take this housing off over here. So we just have the... Uh... All right, so we have this, the wire, the spark plug wire, boot there, the wire over here. All right. So, all right, so there you go. So this is the other part of the housing over here. So we just need to remove. All right, so then here we just have to take out these three screws right here. So I'll do that. All right, so the next thing we need to do is take out these little tabs over here. Make sure you don't lose them. All right, and then this here is our housing. And as you can see right there, that one right there is all chipped. So that's why we have to replace it. So if you give me, so we just have down here like this screw. And then you just take this and you put it in there and then you you pull it so that it's tight in, in there. All right, so we put the tensioner spring back in here. You want to make sure that the tension spring lines up or so you can put on this little notch right here. And then we'll take our uh, new starter right here, and we're going to put it on so that this lines up with that notch right there there you go you can hear it so then we just have to so we want to make sure this is in this little notch right there and then we just have to give the starter some tension this and stick it into that little notch right there you want to stick this through the hole and then you want to get it through there's this little eye hole right here so you want to stick it through there and then once you do that you want to put this uh, little piece little keyhole brass piece right there and then you want to um, put the handle back on it as well all right so there you go and then you just want to Tie it as well. There we go. Alright, so we're good there. Now we just have to put some tension on here. Make sure that you're pressing down as you wind it. it in that notch but that's why they give it to you all right so that should be wound enough so then you'll take it out of that notch there and then you are just gonna make sure that you are letting your feed in there But you still want to give it some pressure. 
All right. And then the next thing we need to do is put these guys back on. Now we've got that back on right there. So the next step is to reassemble the machine. Alright, so we're watching and I hope you will like and subscribe. Alright, I'll see you next time.